Now it's time to add our typography. And typography is an art unto itself. And if you're serious about getting type just right, the uh, secret kind of lies in the preferences. If we go under type in Photoshop preferences, we get some choices here. Now, if you remember when we set the Illustrator preferences and went to type, we changed the default settings for our keyboard increments of letting and tracking and baseline shift. We changed these increments from the defaults. Photoshop uses those defaults and doesn't have a really easy way to reset it, as, as easy as Illustrator. So in the future, when you're designing with type, this was designed in Illustrator, not Photoshop. I wouldn't even think of trying this in Photoshop. But for right now, we'll work with type in Photoshop because you can do that. I'm just telling you, Illustrator is a better choice. First up, we don't have the type panel up in our saved workspace. This is my demo workspace. If I go under Window Workspace, you see I'm in Demo. So let's go under Window and come down to the Character Palette. And if this opens up out here, we don't need the Paragraph panel because we're not going to be working in this probably in the first semester. Um, did I say? Yeah, I did say paragraph. So we can drag the character panel over here, and I'm going to dump it right there. And then I'm going to click on this and click Reset Character. And that way, I have the same settings that you're going to have when, we, when I use the Type tool. That's important. Now, I mentioned, I think, that typography is an art unto itself. The client asked for a classically romantic feel for both the type and the image. Now, classically romantic typically means kind of swashy, but you don't want a swashy font for all of the typography because that just gets too much like a wedding invitation and that's just crazy. So chances are we don't have the typeface that, that you are interested in. So let's go to add fonts from Typekit. Now, there are thousands of fonts here, and you're able to sync a certain number of fonts, and you can find that number under account. It will tell you how many fonts you can sync. But rather than going through thousands of fonts, we can sort our fonts. And classically romantic kind of falls in the script zone. And for my choices, I'm not going to take you through the arduous process of selecting these fonts that I went through. Adorn turned out to be my second choice. And yes, this is a swashy typeface, but it doesn't have the refined feel I'm looking for. But when you click on this, Adorn is a type family, which has all kinds of alternatives. And Adorn Condensed Sans Regular, this right here is what I picked for my secondary font. It's a sans serif font. It, well, it has little tiny hints at serifs, but for all intents and purposes, this is a sans serif font. This is a serif font. Serifs are these little feet that you see that are distinct on every single character. You can see this says unsync, and that means I've already clicked the sync button. That's all you need to do to have Photoshop have access to this font. Now for my, um, the font that I chose for the, the title, um, Origins. Again, I'm not going to make you go through what I went through as I look through this and I said, hey, this looks pretty good. But that's not what I want to look at. This is what I want to look at. And so now I can look at the type and I don't have to look at all the other characters. It's just the word I want to use. And I thought, yeah, this is going to work. And I clicked on sync. Again, you do not have to choose the exact same fonts I did. You're free. You're encouraged to use whatever you like. Now, back in Photoshop, now, if we select the type tool, it's right here. In both Illustrator and Photoshop, hey, look, it looks like a letter T. If I hit the letter T, I get the type tool. Is that amazing? 
And by default, we've got Myriad Pro regular 12 pixels. Yours price has 12 points. I changed my, um, my settings in Photoshop, preferences, uh, units and rulers. I changed it to pixels, and you can do so too. Um, we know we want this white, not black. So let's come up here. We'll say OK. 12 pixels is kind of small. So I'm just going to highlight that 12 and type 200, hit return. And then Myriad Pro Origins. And we just start typing Origins, and it will jump there and select it. Or you start typing whatever the name your font, the one you chose, is. And then really important, how are you aligning your text? Is it aligned left, center, or right? Now, for different designs, sometimes you want things aligned left. Sometimes you want things aligned right. More often left than right. But for this poster, this title's in the center. We want this to be aligned center. Now, if we click, and I'm just going to click somewhere near the center, and type, I should have copied and pasted this so you don't have to watch me, um, type and try to type and talk at the same time. Now, that's highlighted. Here we can highlight it. In Illustrator, you can select the type with a black arrow and change the size. Here we have to highlight it with the text tool. And then we can come up here and just scrub. We don't have to type in a number. See how the, the cursor changes? And I can pull this to the right to make it larger. And, you know, hey. Let's say that's where we like it. We can always change this later. Now, you might notice, hey, we got some contrast issues. And if I drop this down where this is probably going to go, look at how this disappears here. Well, that's just terrible. And if we want to do something about that, we got to figure out how we're going to handle this. Let's come back in the next movie and we'll figure that out.